All right, you people, you always uh, complain, you watchers of my Netrunner videos, that I only upload the videos that I think are going to be interesting. Well, here's a video that I don't think is that interesting. So there you go. That's me on the right. I'm playing sort of a weird Kate deck where for the burst economy, I use freelancing and I throw a bunch of programs in the trash. And then I use quality time and diesel to draw them up really fast. So that way I have everything at my disposal, drop some clone chips, and then use magnum opus for the long game. Uh, on the left is Jason, extremely good player for New York. He is playing what is a pretty typical NBN fast advance. This took place at the monthly tournament at the Complete Strategist in November 2013. I think it's round four of five. Mm -hmm. Install, install hedge fund. What does he think he is? The Whalen Corporation. Hey, all right. And you can see my weirdness begins here. Run an HQ. There's a Jackson Howard. I really don't want the Jackson Howard to stick around because uh, that'll let him draw into all his goodies uh, more quickly. So I spend his, all my credits to trash it down to one because I spent one for the pop up window. I run RD. He doesn't res. I see a closed accounts. Okay. I drop a clone chip so that I use my ability uh, to save a credit this turn and take a credit. So I'm thinking R&D's probably got like a toll booth or something expensive he can't res because he has a lot of money. He could have resed uh, like a Data Raven or something else nasty over there. Okay, green level clearance and installing some ice. So he's loading up on those tiny transactions. Uh, green level, hedge fund, beanstalk. Right. Needs money to res his uh, sand sands. I'm dropping my diesel. I run R and D. He doesn't res. He keeps it. I take a credit. And take a credit and throw out my femme. Yeah. Fem is typically a card to just throw in the garbage. Uh you know, that way you can test run it, you can clone ship it. There's really not too many cases where you want to install it straight out of your hand for eight credits. So if you draw a femme, just throw it out. Uh-oh, he's installing in the remote, and he's installing another card in the same remote. So one of them has to be San San. The other one, you know, it could be an Astro he's about to push out, and he's pretty confident in his ice. Uh, or... It's very popular to drop a Bernice on a Sand Sand these days. Okay, I run to force him to res and spend money. Maybe he can't res a Sand Sand if he spends money resing ice. But no, it's a Caduceus, the best possible ice for MBN because they boost that first trace big time with their recurring credits to get three. So basically turn the two recurring credits into three real credits. You can't afford to beat the trace on that. And then... You're going to end the run now that they have so many more credits. It's, you need to get a Mimic or a Sentry Breaker to deal with that. Okay, so I run R&D while he's still not resing. Uh, maybe if he res that ice, if it was a toll booth, it's like, okay, I would pay three. Um, and he would then um, you know, not have enough to res a Sand Sand and score an agenda. But it turns out that he didn't res it, and I didn't see anything, so... I spent all my money on my Magnum Opus, the enemy of NBN. Because I'll just take eight, take eight, and see what he's going to do about it. Okay, so he drops another ice down there. And I'm taking eight. Money beats NBN. Take eight. Yeah. Boom. Money. Stop me now. I'm going to trash all your things with this pile of money. If only I was wizard. <laughs> Now the beanstalk, all the money, and drawing cards, and it's bad news as a hedge fund. Oh boy, <laughs> he can res all the things and score all the things. I got, I, I don't have anything. I have a clone chip. 
Well, if I see the toll booth, I can fem it. All right, drop a mem chip. Now I can install all kinds of things. And I take a bunch of money. Getting ready to go in there and trash all his biz. He's rezzing. Oh, that's the Bernice. Yep, of course. <laughs> Sansan. San. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Game over for me. <laughs> Install. Advance. Oh, it's a breaking news. Fuck! Oh, close account. No! I should have seen that coming. Oh, I took eight. And it, uh, all that money. Oh, oh, I lost. Oh, so bad. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> No, <laughs> my money. <laughs> I'm just thinking Astro script and <laughs> not. Uh, <laughs> uh, I throw my corroder out because I can get it back if I need it, and I don't really see any barriers out there. All right, so that's a new server he's setting up. It's got to be a Jackson Howard, right? Setting up a new server like that. Draw. I need to kill that Sansa. I infiltrate that card. It is a Jackson Howard. Yeah, I probably didn't need to infiltrate that. I should have just known that that was a Jackson Howard without needing to infiltrate. <laughs> sort of a waste. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, no, oh, there's Astro script. No, oh, things are looking bad for Kate. <laughs> things are looking real bad. I got a magnum opus and not much else to show for it. If only those accounts didn't get closed, I would have. I would have been in good shape here. But they were closed because NBN is like that. I just had. To, all right, so I'm gonna run R and D. It's a pop-up window. All right, I can deal with that. I have a magnum opus. Stink. Cost me half a click to get through there. And you've already got all the money, so I have more than all the money. Oh, a bastion. Perfect. I will clone ship my corroder that I threw out. And then I'll break your bastion. It's expensive, but I get in. And I gotta prevent you from drawing an agenda, because you have a sand sand and an astro script. And I got an agenda. Hooray! Hooray! An agenda. And I drop an R&D interface. Probably should have waited to next turn to drop that, right? Well, I didn't need to drop that now. I would have saved a credit dropping it next turn. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I just, you know, what else was I going to do the last click? Take two? Uh, anyway. Yeah, I got to. Oh, more ice and R&D. Great. Great. I need to trash that sand sand so badly. I cannot let that sit there in combination with the Astro script token. All right, so I'm going to freelance for a bunch of money. Throw all that stuff out. Pew, 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 pew. See, because you freelance, you get all that money in one click versus Magnum Opus where you, you know, so... Draw. <laughs> but you... <laughs> Quality time. See, but that's the thing. Quality time plus freelance is not necessarily as good because you have to spend credits to play the quality time and a click. All right? You draw those cards, and then you're freelance. So it's really two clicks, and it ends up not being quite as good as, say, two sure gambles. Um, yeah. It just, it just helps you in the early game before you have any magnum opus. Or if you happen to end up with a fistful of programs and a freelancing, 
you know, why not? Okay. So I throw out my Plascretes because it doesn't look like he's scorched and he spent all his influence on transactions. Uh-oh. 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 Please don't close my accounts again. Oh, okay. It's another breaking news, and he did not close my accounts. So the score is now 4-0, four, four uh, and he's starting the Jackson Howard machine. So even if I have to trash that Jackson Howard, even if I get it into R&D consistently and see all the cards, he'll just draw right past the cards I saw into new cards uh, where the agendas are hiding. And I will not win unless I get really lucky. So I run R&D. Oh, shit. It is a roto turret. Fuck. Well, we trashed my magnum opus. Might as well just forfeit right now. That was really dumb. That was the dumbest. Um, The dumbest. I'm the dum dum. Ran R&D with my R&D interface. And no century breaker. And no clone chip. And no self modify code. And no nothing. So, Roto Turret. And... GG, I guess. Should I even spend money trashing that Jackson Howard now? Um... Crap. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> he's got his Sansa and he's got an Astro Script token. I can't run R&D or else I'll trash my Corroder. <laughs> uh, I guess I can run HQ. There's a, there's a pop-up window. <laughs> All right, I'll freelance to get some money. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Mercy. <laughs> oh, man. Right, I'm going to run the remote. What's it going to be? <laughs> He's only got a couple credits left, so I run the remote. Um, he boosts his Caduceus Trace. I'm doing the math on whether I should prevent him from getting the credits or not. And I think what I figured out is the way it was boosted is that if I prevented him from getting the credits, then he would that and he boosted the on the run, I wouldn't have enough money left to trash the sand sand. All right? So I let him get the 3 credits, then even if he boosts the end the run, which he didn't, uh then I can get in, trash a Sansan, and take the tag from Bernice. Sure, you win your Bernice trace. Fine, I get tag. And then trash Bernice. And then remove the tag with my last click. Because if I get closed accounts again, I mean, even though I only have five credits, I can't get those back. Like, every credit is super precious now. <laughs> And a new install. Is that a new Sand Sand? <laughs> a bean star. Oh my god. No. Oh, this is so. If you get your accounts closed after you took like a whole bunch of credits with Magnum Opus, and then you lose your Magnum Opus to a Rota turret, it's just so demoralizing. <laughs> it's just nothing you can do. What? Do... I can get another Magnum Opus. Come on, where is it? Draw, draw. Gonna install another one, right? I got my more than one. Anything, any kind of. All right, this is self-modifying code. I'm not gonna install a magnum opus with that. Oh, that'll cost so much money. Oh my god. And where am I gonna get that? Oh no, sand sand no, no. Yeah, so he sand sands out a no advance beal. So now he's at six, and I'm at two. Okay, I gotta do something. Just anything. Diesel, let's go. Come on, I could. Any. Some magical card. Magic card. No, it's not runner. It's not magic. No magic cards. Something. Parasite that. Uh, Roto turret. Pew! Infiltrate for two credits. Run R&D. Score something. Yeah. R&D interface. Yeah. Got an Astro script. All right. Game not over. 
Uh oh, did I take an extra click here? I think I, I dieseled at the beginning of the turn. I'm sure everyone, I took an extra click again, draw. Okay, yeah, I think I might have dieseled, parasited, infiltrated for two credits, run R&D, and drawn a card. All in one turn. Cheating. Cheating happens in Netrunner. It happens a lot when you draw, I think, as the runner as your first action, because it feels like a mandatory draw, almost. So you sort of end up, you know, so I, it was like, Diesel, started my turn, didn't really count it as a click. Uh, it's not like it really matters here. I have no money. He has a Sanson and an Astroscript token, and he just Jackson Howard did a zillion cards. Like, all the cards. So... And he has six, so if he has any agenda in his hand at all, right, um, that's going to be game. And there's really nothing I can do about it, even at a four-cost agenda, like the character assassination, right? He goes, install, advance, advance, astroscript token, sans sand, that's it. Couldn't even trash that Jackson Howard. Okay, so I'm going to scavenge my corroder for a parasite. And kill his pop-up window. Because I have no money, right? I have zero dollars. So my only choice to stop him from winning, I can't get into r and I'm going to run HQ a bunch of times. And maybe I can get the agenda that he just drew so that he can't score it. And then the score will at least be 6-6. Six, six, and it'll take him another turn to win, maybe. Uh, run HQ a bunch of times. Come on, there's got to be an agenda in here. Right? Agenda? Nope. Ran three times. Nothing. Does he have it? Does he have it? Install. Advance, advance. He top-decked it. He top-decked the agenda. He didn't actually get one with the Jackson Howard. FML.